I want to take you back to a time in 1753 when a woman named Molly was making some caramel in her backyard. And it was so delicious and so tasty that visitors such as Queen Victoria and Charles Dickens were like, we need to have that caramel. This is Everton Toffee, and we've got a brand new flavor to talk to you about today, and it is peppermint, and boy, am I ever excited. So, of course, you get the saltiness of the pretzel. Of course, you get the creaminess of the butter toffee. Excuse me, I said caramel. I meant butter toffee. And you also get the pieces of the red and the white peppermint. So this is butter toffee with a rich and storied history, so much so that famous people were flocking to her backyard and to, was it a copper kettle? Was it a black cauldron? Who knows? Anyway, we're gonna learn more in a second. So you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five of the bags, four ounces each in the brand new peppermint, five of the bags in the roasted almond, five of the bags in the original or there actually is a combo where you'll receive three of the original bags and then one each of the other two flavors. It's M79718, that's your item number. You do have a choice of ship weeks and that is November 8th or December 6th. Four easy payments of $5.43. And of course, shipping to you for free. And of course, Natalie Lockett's is here and she's someone who's a dietitian, knows about food, knows about great taste. Um, the butter toffee story here is one that makes me smile all the time. Natalie, tell us about a little bit more about Molly and her recipe and why people came from far and wide. Hi, Rachel. Hi. We've presented this so many times together. I feel like now I am Molly Bushel. Yes, you are. You, right? I'm like, I, I know that <laughs> I'm I love Queen Victoria. You are Victoria. We just need Alberti, right, to be <laughs> Charles Dickens. Yeah. We love this story. It goes back to 1753, and I love that you said, what was Molly making this delicious butter toffee in? I've always pictured this, like, big black cast iron yes. cauldron of some sort, but she was melting butter and adding that sugar and cream and making this original butter toffee recipe and mm -hmm. all that delicious smell of that coffee was in the air and she, like you said she attracted charles dickens queen victoria and right. put this little town of everton in our name on the map in england because of this original recipe that we are still using today right 270 some years later yeah so you, i'm so excited i know the peppermint there's yeah. a new flavor so um we'll we'll work yes. with the new flavor and then work our way back to the core but this really is love it butter toffee that is creamy, that is like mouth watering, and you've now mashed that marriage up. You've got, you start with the pretzels, yes. then you go into that butter toffee. Tell us why the peppermint. What were you thinking of in terms of a flavor profile for this? Well, we're getting tis the season, right? Yes. For that crushed candy cane look with that bright white and red. So you get that wonderful, we use pure peppermint oil. So you get this great, yeah. bright peppermint flavor paired this. with this delicious, creamy caramel taste. And then a little bit of salt on that light, crisp um, pretzel with that kosher salt sprinkling. So it's a great, delicious, sweet and salty with that brightness from the peppermint makes it so holiday. Yeah. And if you look Super festive. at a close-up of, yes, I love it. I've got my second camera on a close-up of some of those to see all the nooks and crannies of that broken peppermint, which is just such a fun and festive flavor. Or, Ooh, you know what, no flavor. nooks and crannies. I mean, look at this. When you talk <laughs> about them being like made, each one of them is gonna have its own thumbprint. This is like stained yes. glass window. There's no, all yes. nooks and crannies are done. You can't even see through it. And then other ones, you are gonna get a little bit of peppermint, you will get to see through. So that's one, you can have all five of your bags in the peppermint if you so desire. You could choose all five of your bags in the roasted almond. Let's talk about this and how this flavor okay. is gonna be. Oh, I love this almond one. So this one we use real toasted almonds, which pairs so well with that butter toffee. They just go so nicely with that nuttiness. And we also yeah. use an almond extract. So I love using that to bake. I love that intense almond flavor. When you open a bag, you get kind of blasted with that delicious pure almond 
smell and yes. then that flavor it just enhances Ooh. that butter toffee taste you know every time we put these on um they always just fly out the door i think not they only do. because they're easy because you've got individual bags they're just a really yeah. nice size right you can have a couple of them two or three of them and they really actually they they feed and they answer that sweet and salty you know kind of craving that you might have this is the original yeah. to put it on the map Molly's in her backyard. Queen Victoria's riding up. I just imagine that Queen Victoria rode up on like <laughs> six horse carriage type deal, right? I mean, like there Definitely. must have been like seven horses, eight horses that, you know, preceded her. And then she like, does she oh, yeah. roll down her window and say, Molly, can I have some of right? your butter toffee? Like, how does this go down exactly? Right. <laughs> I know, seriously. And I know she had some, some daughters. So maybe she was like, I need to feed my family. Please share the wealth. Let me get some of that delicious butter toffee for my home but yeah. nonetheless she was totally crazy about it yeah. and shared the word with Charles Dickens and now we still get to enjoy it in 2021 which is the most fun um I think what happened was the kettle is cooking yeah. and the smell yes. of this of is aroma. wafting through yes. the countryside yep and people yes. are traveling and <laughs> smell this and say, mm -hmm. wait, wait, let's go and smell the caramel <laughs> or smell the butter toffee. Yes. And then many good books were written after, <laughs> after some. eating and sampling <laughs> some of her delicious butter toffee. Exactly. I think Charles Without Dickens was that. burning the midnight oil and he was taking a bite and then he'd write something else and take a bite. And Queen Victoria was, yeah. I don't know, having some amazing... Um, violinist and cellist play something amazing and she's taking a bite here and there. It's M79718. Let me remind you what's happening. So this is the holiday offer from Everton Toffee. Since 1753, this recipe has been around. Brand new flavor pro profile, the add to the original, the peppermint. So you can get all five of them in the peppermint, which I think is great. I mean, imagine that on your holiday table. You could go with the roasted almond, all five, or all five with the original or that combo, which is three original, one of the roasted almond and one of the crushed peppermint. It's M79718, that's your item number. Remember, you're getting um, five of the four ounce bags. So I love that you're getting, you know, one and a quarter pounds of a treat that's perfect for game night for, you know, even if you're on a Zoom call or whatever, but also perfect for movie yeah. night. You know, it's a fantastic. And you know, Natalie, thank you so much for bringing this to us because it's such yes. a great and unique and distinctive dessert with a wonderful, wonderful story. Story. Thanks, Natalie. Thanks, Rachel. Have a great show. Take care. We'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, and coming up. Yeah, we gave you a little bit of a sneak peek of this fudge. And